Welcome to the first installment of Drinks and Comics. This series is going to be brought to you by Spoiler Country, myself, Kenrick, and Johnny Horsley. Let me get my AirPods out of the way. And the concept of this is we're going to make a drink, and then we're going to talk about a comic book. So I'm on the keto diet, and if you don't know what that is, check it out. It's worth the Google, especially if you are fighting some weight. <laughs> so my drink choice is somewhat limited right now. Um, one of the things I can do, though, is have drinks with no carbs. And to do that, I get vodka. Now, today I have Tito's homemade vodka. And I have, so I have Tito's. I have a glass of ice. I have a Sprite Zero, because the Sprite Zero has zero carbs. And I have one lime. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour ourselves some... Some vodka here, and you know, just kind of eyeball it. You know what you like, how much you think you like. I'm a kind of a heavy pour, little left-handed pour action going on a right-handed guy. Put in our Sprite Zero. And then usually what you want to do is actually muddle the lime into your drink. But with this one, I'm being lazy today, and I'm just going to cut this. Okay. And I'm just going to squeeze this in. Uber late, uber lazy way of doing this, but it does give a good drink. And I'll take my handy dandy knife, give it a stir, and let's take a drink. Now that we got our drink, let's go talk comics. Wait, 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 wait. Kenrick, Kenrick, Kenrick. I want to get make a drink too, man. You can't just do the intro and start the show and then think that it's all you, man. So let's, let's show them my drink. Because clearly my drink is going to be way better than that crap you made. So for my drink, instead of going with the normal, what everyone likes, you know, with like Jack and Coke or rum and Coke, I prefer myself to make Jaeger and Coke. Because then you get... The nice Coke taste and a nice that nice licorice taste of Jaeger. So what you need for to make this awesome drink of Jaeger and Coke is going to be some Jaeger and some Coke. So let's take the glass here and let's put that out of the way. Get our little fancy dancy little pirate shot glass. We'll open up, watch out, open up our fresh thing of Jaegermeister that I just bought. Now make sure when you're dealing with Jaeger that you always, always make it chilled. No one likes a warm Jaeger. So, shot glass. Now you want to have like, you know, one shot to actually just put some in there like that. That's good. Then you take your Coke, fresh cold Coke, and you take it and just fill out the rest. Just keep going, keep going, pour, 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 pour. There you go. Now you've got a lovely Jaeger and Coke. Now, you just take a drink of it. Mmm. That's good. Now, Kenrick. Now, let's talk about a comic. Tighten your chassis belts rolling. All right. All right. We're here. We We've are, made it. We are together in a room. <laughs> it's drinks and comics just for you guys. Episode one. Oh, I thought you said... No, one. episode <laughs> one, motherfuckers. <laughs> and there goes RPG rating. Yeah, there's our drink. <laughs> Going to take a drink here? I have a new glass because I dropped my other one, so... Sure. Sure. We're going to go with that. We're going to go with that. And then today, the book that we're going to talk about is... It's Batwing. This guy right here. Batman Damned. Batman Damned. Which, unfortunately, has gotten kind of a bad rap. It really has. It's gotten... I feel like the whole reaction to that was a lot... A little over the top? Way, way over the top. Well, man. I thought it was more over the top coming from DC. Right. Because now they've changed, like, almost everything that they wanted to do. Well, it's stupid because, like, they showed a shadowy penis, and that caused them to <laughs> pull the book, which made the book an instant collectible, which means I can't freaking buy one. Well, the thing is, is if you're going to show Batman's dick, you have to know it's going to be a huge deal. 
Right. Right? It, you know, and I think the problem is, is that it's overshadowing, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> it's undershadowed. It's undershadowed, <laughs> but it's overshadowing the actual story. People are talking about the dick and not, not the story not itself. Not the amazing fucking story that the book And is. the amazing art. Dude, the art is so good. Yeah. If you guys haven't had a chance, you can get it online. Yeah, you can get it on Comixology. Yeah, I don't know if you can get with the actual... No, all, all digital versions, unless you downloaded it prior to them pulling it, are... Edited? Yeah, like the one I read. Yeah. I, bought, I, I bought it on Comixology. It's edited out. Yeah. So. But this book is amazing. It is. It really the is. The art in it is ridiculous. It's fantastic. Lee did a great job. I mean, I mean look, look, look at that some of this stuff. Look at Constantine right there. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. This guy, they, they, they went all out on this book. And really, if you get a chance... Read it because the story is going to be amazing. I can't wait for the second and the third and the fourth one. I think it's a four or three issue. Three, th I believe it's a three issue arc. Um, cool. Issue two comes out like a month or something like that from now. Yeah. Sometime. But, anyways, the first issue, I mean, I sat and read, I mean, you text me, hey, read it. And so I sat and read it at the grocery store. I waiting, did. Waiting, I did. For, waiting to pick some stuff up. I just sat down and read the whole thing. Yeah. It's really good. And it goes quick because you're like, you're reading it, you look at the art, you're just like, oh my God. And it looks even better when you have it live in your hand. Oh, I'm sure. And the thing with the book is too, is you can sit and you can look at it and you can read it multiple times and just stare at the artwork and find new stuff in the background. Yeah. Yeah, Because it's so fantastic. And Ryan Azarello did a great job on the writing on this book. Oh, he did an amazing job on that book. What, what was your favorite part of that? The book? Yeah. When Constantine comes in. And then when Dead Constantine's Man awesome in it. So... I knew Constantine was in the book, but I didn't know that Dead Man was in the book. Oh, by the way, spoilers, obviously, for this book. But You're not spoiling anything by saying Dead Man's in the book. Right. Well, I didn't know that. Are oh, you yeah. a big Dead Man fan? Not a big Dead Man fan, but I like Boston Brand. I think he's a cool concept, right? Yeah. And I think it's a cool character. It's a cool idea. So I really like Justice League Dark, the animated movie. Dude, I love, I love this, the comic series. But, yeah, but I didn't really like... I don't know if it was the voice... Of Dead Man or the yeah. fact that, like, all right, all that kind of stuff kind of bugged me. That's kind of how it is in the comics, though. That, oh, is that, it? Yeah, tell me, ask, I haven't read anything with Dead Man in the comic books. Read uh, Justice League Dark, the New 52 series. It's fantastic. I have I have the first couple of those. Yeah, it's really And then good. I just picked up one, two, I think three of the new Justice League Dark that just came out. I haven't read those ones, though. But the first one that deals with Constantine and the House of Mysteries and the House of Secrets is fantastic. October is always a great month for supernatural horror Dude, and, and so just good. all that kind of stuff coming out in books. So I have a question for you this book. Okay. If I was reading it, so uh, in it, there's a scene where Bruce Wayne is is kind of maybe hallucinating, maybe not hallucinating, where he puts on the, the, the Joe mask and stuff, whatever. Yeah. And there's a girl doing card tricks, and they don't ever say her name. That's Zatanna. Right. I was going to say, do you think that's Zatanna? Oh, I yeah, 100%. Do. Yeah. Because they, they don't ever name her. They don't ever, like... She's no, but there. she's dressed like Zatanna. She's but she has like she has purple ha in her hair, and she's a little. Yeah, little... but you know it's cool. Yeah. yeah, I think it is. The only part that kind of tripped me out in the book is there's a scene where Batman's running after somebody, and he breaks through a fence, and, and then all of, it just cuts to a different scene, and you're just like, "What happened?" I thought I was missing a page. Yeah, I thought I went back. I read it twice because I'm like, "Am I missing something?" It but... makes sense. I don't. Yeah, I mean, oh, it might come back around though. And they might, yeah, they might explain it further because it, the whole thing deals with the mystical arts and dark arts and stuff like that. So there's a whole there's whole other aspect of this book, because, I mean, obviously if you have Constantine, Dead Man, and Satania, there's something dark magic going on, and they just haven't got there yet. Right. Well, there you guys go. Go pick up Batman Damned. Batwang Damned. Batwang <laughs> Damned. Don't worry about the Wang shot. It's really... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They could have not... They could have just taken it out right. it, at the beginning. But I do still think, DC, you're being dumb if you really thought that was not going to be a big thing when you did it. Right. I mean, they... I still contest that they it was done on purpose because they knew it would make their first black label book an instant collectible because it's going to get pulled. Yep. All right. So. I think that's it we have for today. If you like what you heard, and we're going to do more of these. Many, many more. Yeah. Give us a subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. A like, a share, all that fun stuff. All the other YouTubers say because we're not there yet. We're that's just right. New. That's right. <laughs> we're all new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So... If you like it, share it around. Obviously, we have a, we have a podcast, uh, Spoiler Country. Yep. We talk about lots of shit there. We, we put out multiple episodes a week usually. Yeah, our podcasts are heard everywhere yeah. that podcasts are heard. So, And we're on all the social media accounts. So, you know, give us a like. Give us a share. Give us a subscribe. Yeah, yeah. And uh, thanks for watching. We're out. How was that?